Hello and welcome back to another instalment of Northern Coins and if you're new to this channel hello and welcome but if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your taking the time to watch these uploads and today we've got a bit of uh, a few 10 P's alphabet 2019 10 P's and a, a wee bit of foreign silver just show you where I'm up to with the uh, this is the 2019 book I'm missing A and B so Angel of the North and uh, Bond the letter L uh, the letter S that's for Stonehenge and I can just get it in there the letter V for Village so we're nearly there now so what's that one two three four five left so I'll just put that there out the way just move that there so the first one is for the book and it is the letter L Hopefully you're getting this. This is L for Loch Ness, Loch Ness Monster. And it's a 2019. All the coins for the 10 P's for the 2019, all of the same mintage of 84,000. So, it's not one of the most desirable ones, but if you do find this in your change, you're uh, very lucky. With 80, only mintage of 84,000 anyway. So that's the letter L. And I'll put that in the book while we can. Where are we there? The satisfying click. There you go. Excelente. So the next one is the. I'll just take it out the uh, thing. Should have done this before I started. But um, it's X marks the spot. I'm going to keep these in these, or if I do, if I don't, I'm going to put it in catch one. But I'm also going to write the uh, the price I paid and the date as well. As I said, they're all 2019. This one's a little bit dinged up, as you can see. It's got a, obviously a X, and it looks like a, a little bit of a map. And then there's a nice little ship to the right hand side. So, and I paid five, well actually no, it says five pound, but I got four pound, paid four pound for the tempo. So, it's a bit of money, but um, I think in time, these will be a collector's item, these ones. Same here. This is the letter G, for Greenwich Mean Time. And as Al Murray says, Greenwich Mean Time, we put the line there. So, we tell you what time it is of the day in Britain. So, as I said, there, there again. 2019. That's another one. Again, £4. There. And the last one is the letter D. And that is for Double Decker Bus. And um, I've been thinking about... Um, Obviously, double decker buses, even in my town, they're red. But um, I remember uh, taking my lad down to uh, London, or oh, it would have been what, 2004, 2003? And we actually got managed to get on the really old type ones where you just jumped on. There was no door, it was just like a, po uh, a pole you jumped on, you grabbed on, and then you found the seat as it was moving. Which my lab was really made up. I think it was the uh, the same day as the protest against the Iraqi war. And in them, in them days I was in the army as well. So there was no way I was getting involved in that. So all the uh, all the buses had to stop and we had to walk. All the tubes were down. So that was a long day. I think my lab was only about eight, maybe nine in them days. So... It was a really, really long day. Like I said, I was in the armed services then. Armed forces, should say. I was a Kingsman. But uh, in the Duke of Lancaster Regiment. I joined, when was it? I went back in. I was in the late 80s. And then I came out. and then, But I went back in after 9-11. About 2000, late 2002. To uh, see what I could do. But uh, um, I jumped 
over every hurdle they threw at me. I was in my late thirties, not quite forty that by then, but um, tried to uh, get to Afghanistan, but unfortunately um, they deemed me not medically fit because of my knees, because I'd had too many operations on my knees. But I was as fit as anything, showing a hell of a lot of younger men up. But unfortunately, I was unable to get over to uh, uh, Afghanistan. I think it was Afghanistan anyway. Definitely, definitely uh, wasn't a, a, a rack. But um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get over there. But um, anyway, that's another story. So there again. That's the, like I said before, that's the D for double decker bus. Again, £4. So all of them, I think I paid about a tenner for all three of them. When I, uh, when I put, purchased these. But, as well, I bought one of these. No, this isn't silver, this. Hopefully the camera picks it up. It is a two, uh, sorry, a 1900 Indian head penner, one cent. I keep forgetting that way. One cent, there you go, a little bit better light there, isn't it? So I'll just try and, which is really nice. And it has a mintage figure of 66,833,764, sort of and it's copper, this. The designer was James B. Long A. Arch. So, and the obverse of the coin, I'll just put it down there. Hopefully the uh, camera still picks it up. The obverse of the coin is actually the figure of Miss Liberty. So it's not actually a Red Indian. Uh, an Indian, sorry. Native American. The figure of the, uh, of, sorry, the figure of Miss Liberty. Long Arch, daughter Sarah, was the model for the coin. So, it's really nice that. And on a bit of a side note, the designer also designed the US two cent piece, which in 1864 became the first coin to bear the motto, In God We Trust. So, little bit of uh, information there you never know if you're in a a pub quiz it might come up so that's a 1900 this one is really shiny I don't think it's approved though but it's a 90% 1964 Kennedy half dollar so really nice do enjoy these coins so getting, I've got a few now of these. Seem to have more of these than I do of the British old ones. Although I did, I nearly did pick up a, a florin, but he just wanted too much money for it on a, when I when I saw it. So really, I'm enjoying the, collecting these. And this one's in really good nick actually, as well. Pretty fine example of this. So that's that one, and the last one is a 1902 Liberty Nickel, Liberty Head V Nickel. And this has a mintage figure of 31,480,579. And that's why it's called the V Nickel, because of that. So, like I said, it's got it all round there as well. So, got a few. Like I said, it's uh, silver, and as you can see, Got my magnet today, so obviously that's not silver. That that is, so, and that one should be as well. Oops, where's it going? I stuck to that now. So, yeah. So they're all silver. And this is copper. This one can't pick it up. So. Yeah, they, actually, no, it didn't stick to it. So, so what's your thoughts? How are you doing with the 10Ps? Are you collecting them? Or even the US coins as well? 
after I put it there. So you can see it better that. Move that round. So, so thank you for, uh, if you have stayed to the end, thank you for that. And this is uh, Northern Coins saying goodbye. Have a good day and be good. Bye now.